Hello and welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Andy South and today I'm speaking to Mark Boyce from our European Structured Finance Research Group. We're going to talk about a piece he's just put out about the European auto ABS market. Mark, th this sector has been quite important in terms of recent issuance. For investors who may not be familiar with the sector, can you just give us an overview of who the important issuers are and, and so on? Sure. Uh, we raise about 35 billion euros of European auto ABS, um, so it's quite an important sector. It made up about 25% of investor placed European issuance in 2012. Uh, about 40% of the collateral is coming out of Germany. Um, and then the UK, France and Italy account for most of the remainder. Most of the collateral is originated by the captive finance subsidiaries of uh, the major auto manufacturers. And among those, Volkswagen and Renault account for more than half of outstanding collateral. Okay, and Mark, we've seen some interest from new investors in this sector over the past year or so. For example, there was a US-focused deal for the first time last year. What are the main features of the deals which new investors should know about? Well, there's no subprime um, auto ABS sector in Europe, um, unlike in the US. Um, so we generally ca categorize most of the collateral as prime, although obviously there, is, there are differences um, in, in collateral quality depending on the issuer. Most of the collateral consists in loans and leases to consumers rather than corporates um, with um, terms of between three years and five years. Um, a, lot of these, a lot of the collateral also features um, both amortizing and balloon loans. These balloon loans have regular payments throughout their life and then one final payment at loan maturity. So that's kind of on the asset side. On the transactional side, uh, most of the transactions are standalone transactions rather than master trusts. Uh, many of them feature two tranches, rated AAA and single A, which exist above the equity piece. Because most issuers use securitization as a funding tool, as a funding tool rather than for risk transfer, they tend to issue the, the rated tranches in the public market and retain the equity piece. Um, about half of the transactions that we rate have revolving periods that last um, from one to three years. During these revolving periods, uh, the transaction can acquire more collateral um, using principal receipts from the existing assets. Um, the notes are usually floating rate. Um, because the assets, as I said, are usually fixed rate, that means that transactions often feature an interest rate swap, although we have seen a move recently towards more fixed rate tranches. And then finally, in terms of the credit performance of this sector over the past few years, how's that been? It's been strong, especially relative to other sectors. Um, we've seen some reasonable divergence in arrears, as we, as we have seen in some other European ABS, se some other European securitization sectors. So we've seen, for instance, higher arrears in some countries in southern, southern Europe than in some countries in the core. But even then, um, arrears are on average less than three percent. Um, and if we look at rating transitions, they also reflect this trend. Um, of the tranches that were outstanding in mid-2007, only two defaulted by the end of 2012, and both of those were in Spanish transactions. All right, Mark, thanks very much.